We now return you to your regularly scheduled debunkings. So, we've waited three long years for this video. In early 2018, FECOR dared a series of long distance laser tests to prove the flat earth. And... They made a PDF. <laughs> But now, 37 months later, this fact-filled, straight-to-the-point, no-doubt-about-it video was completed. The majority of this video is old news, so we'll just get the little stuff out of the way first. You also have to take into account that the laser beam diverges with distance from one side to the other, creating a very long cone. Because of this divergence, the bottom of the beam will eventually contact the water surface. In order to avoid this, a very collimated lens is needed. Uh, collimation is a technique that converges the laser beam, enabling it to reach longer distances, but that doesn't mean that it will never diverge again. You have to study the distance you are measuring, the height of the laser, uh, the, uh, the divergence of the beam in that distance, the humidity, and the collimation, etc. So, it's not as simple as many people think. Well, that's great, Zach. We know you used a collimator on the equipment test in mid-2016, but as I recall, Mike said that they used an uncollimated laser because the collimator broke. D did you guys measure the dispersion of the, uh, of the laser itself? Um, no, we we, no, we 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 used an uncollimated laser for the for the for the tests here in the Netherlands because we're lining up the the, the beam with with you know one ray of the optics. Where you know there was no real need for a collimated beam because we're not trying to you know, span a distance of sixty or seventy kilometers. Well, I I would I would beg to differ with you on that because well, even your, even. I, even, no, I'm just I'm, I'm just saying because given given the two photographs that you actually do have, uh, you know, on the website and in the document, um, even for the short range tests, that laser had already dispersed quite a bit. I mean, it was it was probably about a good two feet across. Yeah, well, the the blue laser was an uncollimated, uh, simple laser pen, and the green laser that we had that we used in Hungary, that was actually the specially designed laser. But, okay. You know, we wrecked that on the first day, so that was pretty unfortunate. Okay, so... So, I guess that's out. But in our case, leveling the laser is not even needed. What we need to do is choose a target location that will be impossible for the laser to hit since it will be hidden behind the convex surface. Then we shoot the laser to the lowest point possible on the horizon line. In this case, the laser is actually pointing slightly downwards while we try to keep the laser tangent to the globe. We will then see if it is visible from the target location since it should be blocked behind the curvature of the Earth. So no matter how many times they're shown that a laser will follow the curvature of the Earth due to refraction, remember, per FE core, not leveling a laser is the best way to do a point-to-point -point test. Even though Mike argued with me that leveling the laser was done with a default laser level, which was ultimately useless for this application, but then he also later denied leveling it. So that's out. You know what? A majority of this stuff was already covered in my previous two videos and the interview with Mike Cavanaugh. If you'd like to see all that original stuff and what was wrong with these tests, as well as the full interview with Mike Cavanaugh, I'll link these three videos below. So now let's get to the new history making video. Now before we actually get to the video footage, I want to make sure that I play this clip from Mike Cavanaugh's interview. It's important because this was a request I made of him about what to include in the video when they finally make it. I would like to request of you, president of FE Corps, that in the future, if you are going to put out documentation or if you're even gonna put out video material um, uh, discussing the results of your tests, that you honestly, I mean, yes, you have, you have the, the members, they receive uh, bits of things that you know the public doesn't get, and I'm cool with that. Um, but if you are going to release a document to the public that it actually contain the results, not just in word, but we live in a multimedia world right now. So, uh, the, the results in photograph, 
the results in video if possible because that that's what, i will uh, i will agree to that you know the the laser test was uh, the first thing that we set up uh, within fe core and uh, of course we um, you know we did our best to compile it into a um, you know a, a, a well-written document um, you know, we also set out, or at least we stated on a couple occasions, that uh, it was going to be accompanied by a video. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, because the, uh, the the part that was messing with me is, and I'm I'm going to be critical here, and I'm sorry if this is going to sound insulting, but uh, as highly anticipated as those laser tests were, and the the uh, the amount of people who were, you know, pretty much, you know, waiting on the results and stuff like that, I have to say that that PDF was very poor in 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 documenting the results. There was a lot of great information in there, but most of the people were wanting to see, you know, the point-to-point -point laser test. M the majority of folks. Now, I, I understand there's a lot of data porn in there, but... The majority of folks were waiting to see the point-to-point -point laser test, and that was not published in that document. Correct. And uh, so now, just so I'm not criticized for cherry-picking pieces of footage from the new video to make a false point, let's go through the footage that's in the new video. <laughs> These are all the clips of lasers hitting stuff, and again. This is a mixture that they put together of 2016 and 2018 material. Aside from the multiple 2016 clips of lasers hitting boats, they were not related to the FE core test in 2018. Although many of the personnel were the same and much of the equipment was the same, these were not the same tests. These were performed by Dr. Zach and crew trying to accomplish the same goal. There are a couple of shots where you see lasers hitting a larger target, but these are all short range shots and have nothing to do with the test results. Why was this important to show? I'll let FE Corps President Mike Cavanaugh say from the one-on-one -on -one live stream that I had with him in 2019, well after the tests were done. But what was the ultimate goal of the test? Was it to see the laser at the other end or was it to hit a target? To hit a target. And did you hit a target? Yes. At 22 kilometers? At 20 and 26. And if I remember correctly, it's 27 or 29. Now, of course, that was FE Core President Mike Cavanaugh describing events that took place during the tests, which is greatly different from that which Zach said the goals of the test were in the new video. Needed. What we need to do is choose a target location that will be impossible for the laser to hit since it will be hidden behind the convex surface. Then we shoot the laser to the lowest point possible on the horizon line. We will then see if it is visible from the target location since it should be blocked behind the curvature of the Earth. So now that Zach has established that this is an I see it test and not a point to point measurement, even though Mike said back in 2019 that this was actually to hit a target, these are all clips of lasers viewed from the downrange target observer positions. Now I could go on about how these are all pointing kind of upward compared to the observer and how images like this actually demonstrate a close range shot, but that's all old news. In my interview with Mike, he went on to say that there was no footage of any target hits because his P900 and other cameras were not sufficient. And while that sounds good given the distances involved, nobody was looking for a target hit footage as viewed from the laser source. There was always somebody at the target end in every test with a camera. So given all the travel, all the waiting, all the planning, all the downrange footage, not one person who was standing down at the target end with a simple cell phone camera turned towards the target, showed the laser hitting it, and said, BAM! Flat Earth confirmed. Well, in that same interview, Mike covered that as well. Definitely. Okay, so it's safe to say that although you, you state that there was a target that was hit, uh, and which would have basically confirmed all of your work, um, you don't have photographs of it. 
Now we do have video and photographs of it, but you know they're they're made with a P900, and the P900 is not the best camera that you uh, that you can have at uh, those locations. Okay, are these are these photos and videos, regardless of quality, uh, ever going to be released? Yes, yes, we're um, you know, there's a, a massive dump of um, media that uh, that we're going to release pretty soon. I hope we're waiting for a special occasion. And uh, one of those uh, media releases is uh, the TLT video, which is uh, about an hour long. It's already, um, well, it's almost done. We're still in the ed editing phase, but... Um, okay, I'm not familiar with the TLT video. Uh, I don't know what that means. Terrestrial laser targeting, that's the laser uh, laser tests. Okay, okay. So you are actually making a, a, a concerted video showing all of the... Uh, all of the the laser tests that you've done uh including this this hitting this target yes okay and what was that special occasion that was supposed to be this video now i can never be positive that video of a target hit doesn't exist but if this was supposed to be the video where it was going to be shown in the entire hour of footage not one target hit was shown as part of a live test now, it wouldn't be right if I didn't make this disclaimer. I would like to concede that given what is being tested and the tools involved, darkness is obviously the best time to perform these tests. But in that can be a real problem in most cases when a third party, who was not present for the tests, tries to verify the results for or against. That is why it's recommended to have at least some kind of landmarks or terrain features visible. Wait a minute, what was that? This is the reason why it took me so long to get this response video out. Oh, and by the way, for those flat earthers who hated Stellarium before this video, you're really going to hate it after today. Something that was never mentioned before in the FE Core results, or any of the videos that I'd seen, the moon. That is a claim of the moon in the 40 kilometer shot. And funny enough, it's not only there, it's also in this shorter shot. Most of us just dismissed it in the photographs as some light somewhere, like the one in the foreground. But now it's being claimed that this is the moon. Now we have something to work with. The 40 kilometer observation of the laser was in the Netherlands, said to be from target four, looking back at the laser. But with the moon in there, now we can verify that claim. I would do checks on the 18 kilometer claim, but that's not nearly as important as the 40 kilometer claim. So I decided to open up Stellarium. Now I was just going to do spot checks of the times that were claimed in the shots, but since clocks can be set wrong or in the wrong time zones or even just set wrong manually, the only thing this would have proven was a bad setup. So I went for the bigger picture and just ran the nights in Stellarium of the dates given to find out where the moon was from each observation location. This round is on the Netherlands from the dates stated. I even added time before and after the test dates just to be complete. And we're gonna see if the moon matches the location corresponding to each observation of the laser. If I was standing at target one, this is where the laser would be. If I was standing at target two, this is where the laser would be. And the laser for target three, and the laser for target four. Let's see if the moon matches up.
So in this short demonstration, you can see that the moon was never low on the horizon at night close to any of the laser locations, pretty much eliminating that this photo was ever taken from any one of these four positions on either date while they were testing in the Netherlands. Now, just out of curiosity, I also did a check at Lake Balaton over all the days that they claimed that they were there, just to be sure. This would be the view from the hotel to the blue team side over at the harbor. There was no reason to do one in reverse because the moon is never ever in that direction. And given the whole world of places where these two bits of footage could have been taken from, just by the position of the moon here, of the same laser taken from the same positions, and no, they were not taking it two different times, and they were not from two different distances. It's the same footage. I could tell you with an extremely high degree of certainty that this was not taken from here. God damn. Alright everybody, it's Monday evening. I've remade this video now two times, and there's going to be a third. So what I decided to do is I'm going to release this information first, and then I'm going to make the newest information in a second part. Originally I had made the video that just went up to show that it didn't show anything. Then after that, when the moon was pointed out, I changed the whole video all over again because... That was new information that we never had before. So therefore it gave me something that I could actually check up on. Now this video here was about to go on and say I could tell you all the places that this wasn't shot but I have no idea where it was shot. And that information will remain uncontested at least as far as where it wasn't shot. As I just demonstrated that to everyone in Stellarium. Well guess what? Two additional days of research now I know where it was shot, and that'll be in part two. So, sorry for the cutoff. Give me a day or two, and I'll have the second part out. Y'all have a nice day. Oh my god!